tutorial on how to use the print the printer running cost calculator so there are four tabs on here so there's a, the first tab is for calculating the running costs of laser printers there's a table for color laser printer costs and mono laser color uh, mono laser printer costs so you can add uh, the outputs from this calculator there to keep track of them and then there is a separate tab here for calculating and tracking the costs of uh, possible inkjet, print inkjet printers that you might be looking at. So we'll start with this tab um, as it says here, start here. Um, the green sections are the areas that you would fill in with new data or make changes so you can put the printer brand, the model, the cost of purchasing the printer, whether the printer is color or mono. Uh, does it do duplex printing, um, the kind of network um, connections that it might have, what's the maximum paper size for the printer, and then in the notes column here you can add some details of uh, about the printer that you might want to keep track of. Now included in each toner is, uh, sorry, included with each printer is some toner. Typically it, you don't get as much as what would come with a, a normal uh, print cartridge that you would buy after you've bought the printer. Um, most manufacturers will print how much you'll get out of it and so you can add that here. So if, if the printer you buy comes with enough toner for 1500 pages then you would add 1.5 here. If it was 2000 then you'd add 2. Um, you can add some options here as well so if uh, the printer might you might want to buy a separate uh, a printer tray and you can add in the cost here and uh, or and and, and uh, so actually I should say option two. Um, so this will these option costs will be included in the running costs. Now, this area takes a little bit more work, but it's it's where you get the most reward out of being able to track the printer, the potential costs of running costs of the printers accurately. If you're only going to be using original brand replacement toner in the printer then you don't need to be entering any information into this compatible section here which is for tracking the prices of aftermarket replacement toner. So for the original brand you've got the pri you've got the capacity of a black cartridge and the cost. You've then got the uh, capacity of a color cartridge and the cost of a color cartridge just just one cartridge so the price of each. Um, sometimes you can buy packs of cartridges at a reduced price. You can enter that price here. To calculate how long that pack will last, um, if it's just a pack of, of a set or one set of cartridges, then we would say, well, well, we'll base that on how long a single black cartridge runs for. Uh, most printers will, or printer manufacturers will also offer higher capacity toner cartridges, so you can add in the, how many um, thousands of prints uh, you'll get from each of those cartridges for black and for color. Again, if, if a pack of high capacity cartridges will use the black as a reference for how long it will last. And then you put in the, the number, sorry, the cost of each of a black cartridge, of each color cartridge, and how much a pack of cartridges might cost. Um, typically, most color printers will have four ink toner cartridges. If your printer has more or less, uh, then you can add that here, and that's helped to because you're ad ad adding the cost of each color cartridge individually here, so it just helps to calculate correctly the cost. Now, if your color is mono, it's black and white, then you can ignore that. You can ignore the color um, capacities and costs. For the compatible aftermarket replacement toner, it works exactly the same way. Um, obviously, most of the time the capacities will be the same, but the costs will be different. Most laser printers also sometimes require other consumables, other parts that wear out or only last a certain number of thousand prints. So things like a drum imager or a waste unit or a transfer belt, they might have a separate color drum imager um, or other um, replacement parts that might need to be replaced after so many thousand prints. So you can enter the, the sort of capacity or the number of thousand prints that they will last. The branded prices, if they're available, go there. And if there are any compatible or remanufactured parts available on the market that you intend to use instead, you could add the prices there. Um, the calculations, uh, the calculator will automatically use um, if if you're using compatible links. 
the compatible part if it's available otherwise it will default default to the brand part um, if there's no uh, you know if that part is there isn't a replacement consumable for it then just leave it blank um, for most of the printer cart sort of uh, volumes that are that you might want to calculate, uh, which you entered down here for either 10,000 prints or 20,000 prints or 30,000 prints. A lot of the consumables last longer than that, so you can hit see from this table that actually for 10 or 20 or 30,000, you're not using any of those consumables. The way that calculator works is that um, it, it calculates how many of those consumables you need to print 30,000 prints. So whilst a waste unit lasts for 30,000 prints, it won't include the cost of one until you go over 30,000 prints. Now you can change these, so if you're doing smaller volumes you might want to have 1k, 5k, 10k or, or perhaps you can increase these um, and then the number of consumables used will then, be, will then be calculated accordingly and these are the main sort of tables that calculate the costs. So um, for standard capacity toner we have uh, both price points for compatible um, toners and consumables and for branded toners and consumables. Then for the same again for high capacity toner, if you're buying packs of standard capacity um, toner cartridges, then you can enter that, then the prices come out here accordingly if they're available. So uh, you get the per page cost. So one single, uh, how much toner is used in one single, um, for printing one page, and the print per 1000 pages. Now both of these costs here as the notes say, only account for the cost of the toner itself. For the larger volumes, say in this instance, we've put 10K, 20K and 30K. As per the note, the cost is basically working out the cost of the printer, the toner that's used, any options that you specified in row 10, and the cost of any extra consumables that might be needed to print that print volume. <clears throat> and that gives a, a true reflection of the cost all in of um, of printing that print volume. So these lines below basically then account for all the different options that we've entered above. So you get the, the unit cost of the printer, some detail of the printer, the per page, the 1000 page cost, which again is just toner, and then the all in cost of 10, 20 or 30,000 prints. So um, this column here specifies you know is it using compatible standard size ink or is it using branded high capacity ink is it using a, a branded pack of standard um, cartridges etc um, and then along here we've got some drum you know the other consumable costs uh, just as a reference and then there's a summary of some of the other notes and specifications um, paper size type of ink being used, any other notes you've added in there, and the amount of ink that the printer ships with. So what you can then do is select the entire row, copy it, and then if it's color lasered um, that you're looking at, you can paste it, you can take it to the color laser table, or if it's mono, the mono laser table. In this case, we're, we're sort of using fake data for a color printer, so in this very first um, column, we will paste a special and we're pasting just the values and then that data gets added here. So what that then does is, is create a list of all the printers that we might be able to we might be looking at. The conditional formatting also, uh, puts in darker green the smaller costs so you can see that in dark green this uh, second to last row that we added is actually the most cost effective at the moment because it's got the most the, the cheapest prices for the the, the various volumes. Um, similar similar formatting happens for the cost of black cartridges or packs of cartridges, uh, and then the consumables as well. And then we've got some notes about the details of the printer, so you, you can you can then go back to the the calculation table you can add in some information for a different printer add that then extra information onto the table and you can use the table filters to say well um, actually in terms of ink type maybe I just want to, to select the branded uh, standard capacity toner the branded individually purchased high capacity toner or maybe actually I want some packs of toner instead 
and then we can also sort by price as well so we can find what's the cheapest running printer and then we've got the notes as well just to remind ourselves of the different specifications of the printer as well so we can make that decent comparison uh, mono laser table um, obviously there's, there's different combination uh, reduced range in terms of the different combinations of ink that we might buy um, but it's a similar layout for inkjets it, it's a bit more rudimentary um, as typically you know the inkjet if you need photo printing at home then you're going to be going with an inkjet um, and then this just helps you choose you know roughly what the running costs are going to be but if you, you know if you're printing high volumes it's going to get expensive quite quickly because you can see that and, and the, again only editing the green areas but it's we've basically got similar sort of uh, factors although here you need to choose which type of, of ink that you're going to be buying whether it's uh, standard capacity XL um, higher capacity ink whether you're going to be buying your, your ink in packs uh, and then it just gives you a comparison between the compatible and the the branded or OEM ink cartridges um, again for the same sort of ink cartridges we've got options that we can add any other notes uh, and here um, is where you add in the capacity and the price for say a black compatible ink standard size cartridge um, and you add it there now a number of cartridges can differ between these um, ink jets so you, you, it's important that you update this column this this cell here and again we'll output two rows this time of uh, the difference between basically the branded and the compatible ink of whatever selection you've put in above and then you can paste that into the table down below here to uh, to be able to compare your different printers now um, a lot of this data that I've already put in here is sort of test data some of it's real but I would uh, do your own work to to get those prices um, calculated for you it's worth saying that where we've got 10k or 20k or 30k um, the, f the first thing you need to do is really understand what your likely print volumes are going to be um, if you think you're likely to, to use say I don't know 10,000 10, prints over the next four years um, then maybe put 10k in the middle go 5k there and 20k here so you get a bit of a spread but you need to do that first because if you change it halfway through then your estimates are going to be completely off um, and you're not going to get a fair comparison when you when you do that analysis once you finish doing the data input uh, and it's same for the for the table here so these these cells actually take the values from the table that's on 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 here um, so whatever you change these two these will change as well so you know what you're working with um, so that's why it's important you do it first and you don't change it halfway through but that's it that's how to use the table it's fairly straightforward um, you know you're only going to have once you've defined the type of printer what, that you want whether you really need duplex printing whether you really need color and, and the networks uh, that you capability you want it to have um, the network connection uh, then there's probably only going to be a few price a few printers within your price range that you might be interested in um, so it shouldn't take you long to build that out onto the table uh, and then you can make a quick evaluation and you what you'll see from the data is that actually um, this is this color printed um, information is loosely based on real printers but you know a printer that costs you 208 pounds up front you know can actually start to cost for 10,000 prints in its 712 pounds or for 238 pound printer it might cost you 822 pounds for, for 10,000 prints whereas if you spend a little bit more on the actual unit and the unit cost is obviously included in this you can see for 10,000 prints you actually start to get um, can get to some very low figures and that's using compatible ink uh, but the same sort of thing it still still um, exists when you're looking at the branded ink as well um, for example the, the difference between uh, compatible and branded ink if we've got that in here somewhere Actually, I don't think we have um, but can be can be huge between printers as well um, but it's worth looking at the cost of the ink cartridges too for example the Xerox C310 one black cartridge is 124 pounds a color cartridge is 150 pounds 
um, and obviously you need to buy three of those and a black cartridge. If you buy them in a packet together, it's five hundred and fifty pounds. Now, um, they do last quite a long time for the for the C three ten, but that's still a lot of outlay at once. Which you know, if you're buying for a, for the home or for a small home office, you're not really going to want to do that. So that sort of rules out that printer, especially when the compatible ink cartridges don't really exist for for that Xerox printer as well. So it's worth checking that the compatible ink cartridges are actually available. Um, but that's it. That, that's the main sort of things you need to consider. Hopefully, you find it useful, um, and you know it saves you a bit of money and cost, and makes the the process of buying a printer a little bit easier. Oh, and if you've got any questions or comments, or if you spot anything wrong with it. Um, then there is a link to to the website where I'm going to blog about uh, this and you can leave a comment there um, to reach out to me to, to let me know. Alright, cheers, have fun.